Hello, Internet. Today we are going to be talking to you about how to beat the power player. We all have those buddies that just absolutely crush the ball. And if they're on, there's just not a whole lot you can do about it. They take the racket out of your hand. But until now. Until now. We're going to tell you how to beat them. Tip number one when you're playing somebody that has a really powerful shot, whether it be their forehand, backhand, or whatever it might be, when you're preparing for this shot, you want to make sure that you're staying low and you're balanced, all right? So some of us are guilty out there that when we hit our forehand, maybe we stand up through the ball and we can kind of get away from it. it. We can get away with it to some degree if the person we're playing isn't taking away too much time and, and everything else with the shot is going on. But power will expose this error big time. So think about bracing as if somebody was getting ready to push you, right? Like, where do you want your center of gravity? You want it low and you want to be balanced. It's kind of how you want to fight off this powerful shot from your opponent. So when moving out to the ball, when you're ready to hit, make sure that you're getting low and you're getting wide. All right, feet set outside from the shoulders and then get that butt down. I always like to tell students to play as if they're two to three inches shorter than they are when they're ready to hit. All right, so now that you are staying down on the ball and you're not flagging because you're standing up too early, it's time to talk about what's the actual strategy here. One of the best parts about playing somebody who's ripping the ball at you with a lot of power is you don't have to generate any power of your own. You can shorten your backswing and you can redirect their power and sort of take all of the energy that they're exerting and use it right back against them. So I think a lot of the times we play somebody who rips the ball really big, we think we've got to rip the ball really big and it's actually the opposite. What we want to do is shorten our backswing, very similar to when we return serves, and redirect their power back at them. And that brings us to tip number three. Tip number three is just understanding the changing direction when the ball's coming at you with a ton of pace is actually really difficult. And also remembering at the rec level, most of the players that hit the ball really big aren't as consistent, right? They're taking a lot more risk to hit that ball so big. And it stands to reason that if you just take their ball and direct it right back to where it came, you're taking no risk and you're giving them the opportunity to eventually punch themselves out. They're gonna make the error if they're hitting big at the recreational level. The last thing to think about is when do we actually want to attack? So when somebody's ripping the ball at you, that's putting you on defense. That's not the time to try and change direction. That's gonna lead to you making the errors. But when they hit the ball short or when they pop it up or when they finally give you a ball with no pace, that's when it's time to get aggressive. That's when we'll look to change direction. All right, so the four tip, and it may seem obvious, but is back up, right? Like give yourself some space from the line. If they're hitting really powerful, the reason it's so tough to play with consistency is they're taking away your time. So although we want you to stay low and balanced, that doesn't mean that you're holding the line like Angelique Kerber, right? Like back up, back up and give yourself some space. And then same thing here, make sure that as you're moving, you're staying low and playing through the ball, but don't be afraid to get off the line, all right? That's really, really important. Create space, give yourself more time. Now the fifth and final tip is don't be afraid of playing with different spins, right? Like if someone is legitimately breaking down your forehand in a forehand to forehand rally, they got that Fernando Gonzalez forehand, change it up, chip, right? Go to the slice, much more easier, simpler stroke, especially off of the backhand where it's, it's nice and compact and the joint positions are, are, are pretty finite to where there's just not a lot of extra moving. But what it also does is by breaking up the, the rhythm of just hitting top spin with that person or maybe flat, you're giving them a different spin that they then have to counteract with improved footwork. And let's face it, a ball that's staying low is a, a lot more difficult to hit flat than a ball that is sitting up. So don't be afraid of changing the spin. Heck, you can even try moonballing, right? Rope-a-dope, the old uh, Ollie Foreman. Just try something a little bit different to see if you can break the rhythm and to get in their head. So next time you face one of these players that's just absolutely ripping the cover off the ball, just make sure you're not following in the trap and don't, don't put ego into it. Don't feel like you have to out hit them. Apply these five strategies and you'll make sure you walk away with the W. That's right, guys. And if you need help with this information from a coach, we do that. Head on over to playercourt.com. We can help you out. See you guys soon. Take care.